holding Steve Soto. And he's holding off Andy Rouse. And with Rouse, trying to get by on the outside. Middlehurst is there, though. Staves off Andy Rouse. This really is a terrific battle between a new driver at the top level and a very experienced driver at the top level in two very different motor cars. And now we're down to Brooklyn's again. Sofa, Middlehurst, Rouse and Bell. Middlehurst fifth, Rouse sixth, Bell in seventh position. Don't forget Will Hoy, he's still there in a race of his own, and that's Tim Harvey locking up. Taking 11th place, Tim Harvey is recovering, taking 11th place from Nick Baird. Into lap 24 out of 25. Will Hoy is bound to win this race if he just keeps going. Allen second, Will Cleland catch him. But more importantly, because we're riding with Andy Rouse in sixth position, will he catch Middlehurst ahead? And would he stay ahead of Ray Bell, who is in seventh place? Well, with Andy Rouse now, out of Cox, Maggots. Down plug straight. And Will Hoy is winning. His lead is down to 10 seconds. This is the last corner. His car sounds OK. And Will Hoy wins a brilliant race, provided he just gets across the line, which he does now to take 24 points. Jeff Allen second, Clallan third, but where is Palmer? Because here are Middlehurst and Rouse ahead of Sofa and Belm. They're fourth, fifth and sixth. Middlehurst fourth, Rouse fifth, Belm sixth. And now they're on the rundown lap. Look at all that rubber crumb in the foreground from worn tyres as they went round the corner. But the question is, what happened to Jonathan Palmer? He completely disappeared on that last lap. Well, here is a replay of whatever happened. Jonathan down the club straight at about 140 miles an hour, on his way to the left-hander at Brooklands, down through the gearbox, and he's just lost it. Just as simple as that. Through go Middlehurst and Rouse, and down goes Jonathan Palmer. Sad end to his first BMW race. So, Will Hoy in the Big Lee Motorsport BMW M3 takes a superb, absolutely unchallenged win and the fastest record lap in round one of the 13-race 1991 British Touring Car Championship. Well, I just think that was one of those lucky races where the, the lead guy gets away and doesn't get muddled up with the traffic behind. And I mean, these cars are now so close that if you can't get past somebody, you can, you can lose so much time if you're a bit quicker and that you haven't got that power advantage you have with the, perhaps the Sierra Cosworths. And uh, so I think that uh, if one car can get away, maybe he can make a jump and stay in front. But we actually had a big problem the last four laps. I mean, I was terrified. It had been very easy, and then suddenly I started getting a misfire, and uh, I wasn't picking up the fuel properly out of uh, one of the tanks. And so the last two laps, the car was virtually stopping after Cobbs. And it was just like the Group C formula, uh, fuel formula, when you have to run the last two laps on the field just to get to the finish. I mean, I was, I was, I was terrified, absolutely terrified. But as it turned out, we, we struggled across the line and that was all right. But, um, but having, having a 12 second lead was, uh, was helpful. In the end, it all added up to a very decent win. How does that win actually rate in what you've achieved during your career? Well, it's obviously great to win the first round of the British Championship, Touring Car Championship. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's not being blase, but it was obviously, I didn't have the pressure that perhaps the second and third and fourth cars had because they were mixing it. So from that point of view, it was um, not hard, but it's a fantastic feeling. I'm, I'm really pleased for everybody. It's, yeah. it's really great. It's going to be a fantastic championship. It is going to be a great championship, and it's going to be very, very close. Yeah. I, I know it is. So, one round completed, 12 to go. Will Hoy leads the championship, six points clear of Jeff Allen, and with round one of the SO British Touring Car Championship at Silverstone, was dominated by the amiable Will Hoy in his Vic Lee Motorsport BMW. Together, they made everyone else look as though they were in a different race, and Will won easily, with a record lap too. Behind him, the Vauxhall twins, Jeff Allen and 1989 British champion John Cleland had a terrific scrap for second place in their Cavaliers. And John was quite happy with the result. We actually didn't expect the car to be as good at uh, Silverstone as it turned out to be. The BMWs are normally quicker at the slow corners there. 
and uh, we had a good result. Second and third was better than we'd expected in the first round, especially after all the, the pre-season wind-up that had been going on about how fast everyone had been going. In fact, when the, when the lights changed green, all that stopped.